So the plow works pretty good. Now, I never really intended it to be an earth mover. It was just built for moving snow, but it works pretty well. If I just stop beating the crap out of it in that hard earth. That stuff's been packed there for six or eight months already. Um, and then I forgot this pin. This is my trip edge override. Trip edge, car hood springs. You remember, if you guys search back for the plow, I have a video of me building this thing. And I put a, two uprights here as backstops for this spring. And then I welded a pipe here, put this pin in, and that keeps it from tripping. But I forgot I had that in there when I was pushing that heavy earth around and it just beat the crap out of these things. But good hammer, everything's back in line. So let's put the box scraper on, let's finish it off. I did come back and sweep up the asphalt a little bit, but I don't know if I explained this in an earlier video. When they laid this garage out, they sure didn't give you much room to swing in, especially with this tree here, and I'm not interested in removing the tree. So we wanted to create a little more driveway here <clears throat> so we could swing into the spots. Into the spots. And I think that box scraper, a combination of the scraper and the blade, did pretty decent. This will do all right. I'm going to bring in some more dirt, <clears throat> level that out, and then we'll go over the top with some shale, some rock. Let's go take a look this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll make it easier getting in and out. Just give you more space. Doesn't feel like you're falling off the side of the cliff. Cool. Wow, cool. Yeah. What a neat little toy. 